welcome back to my channel. My name's Sinead and if you're new here, I'm a Disney fan living in Ireland and I do a lot of Disney hauls, unboxings, collection videos. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then please subscribe. So today I really just wanted to share a movie, my collection from a movie that combines two of my favorite things, Disney and dogs, and that is Lady and the Tramp. So I have a few little things in my Lady and the Tramp collection that I really wanted to show you. So. Let's get started. The first things I have here, I showed recently enough in a Christmas haul, like a Christmas, um, a pre-Christmas haul. And that is this gorgeous set of mini ears. So this is a set that I got on Etsy. I can't remember the name of the store, but the lady is wonderful and the ears are wonderful and really affordable. So I'll link them in the description. So these are just one of my favorite sets of ears. I know Christmas is over and everything, but I mean, these are so, so gorgeous. It's still winter, so they're very wintry and not too overly Christmassy. And I love the picture there of Lady and Tramp in like winter gear, just looking all adorable and have the smooch. So I'll pop these on for the rest of the video because why not? So the first thing I have here is something that is super special to me because it's just one of the most beautiful figurines that I own. And it is my Lady and the Tramp Jim Shore. So I got this Jim Shore, God, I wanna say 2016 maybe, maybe 2017, but I got it quite quite a while ago and it was like my first kind of bigger Jim Shore because I only had the little teensy ones before. Did not mean for that to rhyme. But this is just one of my all time favorite figurines. Look at his lovely smile looking at her and look at her like little coy look. It's just beautiful. And it is called Opposites Attract and it's just got the most beautiful Jim Shore design on there, particularly the base. Like look at those swirls and that floral detail and then the green kind of grass effect on top. It's obviously, well, to me, it's obviously supposed to be from the scene where they have their like date night and stuff. And it's just so nice, it's just so beautiful. So that is my Jim Shore. So here I have two vinyl records. So there's a secondhand record store on my main street of my town that when it's open, when things are normal, I'm able to go into. And I purchased two records in there. They're both the same record, but with different covers, but I just had to have them. So the first one is this Lady in the Tramp record, and this record is from 1969. So this is a story record. So it's narrated and it also has like voice actors. I think it actually does have some of the voice actors from the film. And this is a Disneyland record. I have quite a few of these uh, Disneyland records and I absolutely adore them. I just think they're so lovely to own and to have. And I do have a record player, so I play them when I can. And the artwork on this is probably my favorite artwork on any record that I own, Disney or otherwise. I think it's just beautiful. Look at Jock and Trusty though. They are, they're giving us salty look there. <laughs> And then on the back, we have this really lovely like teal turquoisey color. And then we have some like pictures from the inside. So like I was saying, it's a story as well, but it is also a book. So this next record is the exact same. The only difference is the cover, but I just had to have it because the cover was so pretty. So it is a magic mirror cover. And what that means is, cause they, they do a, or did a series of these. It's like this, ding a -boo. So that is just beautiful. I love the really bright red. I love bright red colors on things. I think it's not just cause of Jim Shore, but I think that they just really pop on anything. So. And to have all the like little supporting animal characters there is really sweet too. There's Miguel Peg. And this record does have the exact same book, except this record is from 1962. So it's seven years older than the other record I have. So it was the 65th anniversary for Lady and the Tramp. They're going strong for 65 years now. And that was in 2020, which I can't believe we're not in anymore. But anyway, I got this really gorgeous thing on Shop Disney. I got three things I think on Shop Disney that were like 65th anniversary. And this is my favorite thing. So it is the puppy in a hat box, the lady puppy in a hat box. 
So it is from obviously the iconic opening scene where Jim Deere gets Darling Lady as a puppy for Christmas. Remember though, dogs are for life, not just for Christmas. So I just think this is so cool and retro and so unique. And when I saw it, I was, I was really lucky to get it because I think it sold out quite quickly. And for once in my life with Shop Disney, I was on the ball and able to pick it up. So this is just absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the little puppy inside if you haven't seen it already. So here she is, the Christmas puppy. How sweet is she? So it is Puppy Lady. And then on the back there, she has her lovely red velvet bow, which again, the red is just, just pops. I love it. And then her beautiful little face. And what is so sweet about this is you can see she's kind of like sticking her tongue out like puppies do. So. I just absolutely love her and she's the perfect size for the little hat box and what I often do is I just leave her on the chair in my bedroom sitting out like this. It just looks so cute. And this is so kind of retro and cool too which I just absolutely love about it. The next thing I have here is something that Kevin got me for our anniversary in July, our five year anniversary. And it is absolutely stunning. I've been carrying it around ever since July, anytime I do get to go anywhere. And it is this stunning Lady in the Tramp lounge fly backpack. So like I said, he got this for me for our anniversary and I was absolutely made up with it because it was a real surprise. I didn't ask for this. I wasn't expecting lounge fly because I only have like two other lounge fly bags and one of them's my tiny Aristocats bag that's usually in my videos. So to have this, I was, and it's so spacious. Like look at it, it's actually really massive. Well, not massive, but it's deceptively small because it is very spacious. So on the front there, as you can see, we have Lady and Tramp enjoying their strand of spaghetti and that spaghetti is gold thread. Beautiful. And then we have the lounge fly plaque on the top there in a gorgeous like royal blue color. And the material itself is like a blue suede, I guess, like Elvis and um, blue suede shoes. And it has Bella Note again in like thread on the back with the candle from the table. Just, lounge fly, you are the best at detailing, I swear. And then on the inside, it has, so I've taken my few bits out of it, except for the bottle of juice. But on the inside, it has the red and white kind of tablecloth detail from the their table at um, Tony's restaurant, which so sweet, so lovely. Can't wait to watch this movie again come February on Valentine's Day. Tradition has to be done. And so because I have the bag, Kevin surprised me with, and I showed this recently in my Christmas haul or my Disney things I got for Christmas video, which I'll link. So please forgive me for showing it again, but it's so good. It bears repeating. And it is the Tony's Restaurant Loungefly wallet. And it is my favorite wallet I've ever seen. Look at this thing. So beautiful, so perfect. It's got that suede material again, but then the kind of shiny material for Tramp and Lady having their smooch. And then in thread again, it has Tony's restaurant. And then just quickly, because you may have seen it already, but just on the inside, this is my favorite part, is the, because I haven't used it yet, but it is the bright red inside with Lady and Tramp having their strand of spaghetti again, it says love. So then here I have just three little pins. So the first one is an actual Disney pin and I bought it off of eBay. Now I'm not that great at collecting pins. Um, I really want to be. It's just sometimes they're super expensive to get delivered to Ireland and I would rather pay that kind of money for something Disney that's a little bit bigger. But I do have a few cute little ones, mainly like Disney doggos and princesses. So I have this lady in the tramp one here and this is like a little kind of stamp or a little yeah like a little postage stamp and it's got the little couple there so i'm assuming this came from like a series or a, uh, like a blind box so if anyone who's more into pin trading can let me know if this is from a blind box and if it's part of a series because i would definitely like to get my hands on more of these these are adorable then these two that I have here are just from Wish. So, you know, Wish is like little cheeky bits and you can buy often Disney things on there. Like obviously not official Disney things, but Disney related things and they're very, very cheap. So these two pins that I have here, I have Tramp, the first one. 
He's super, super cute. And then I have Lady. So I believe these are painted with like a softer kind of paint, which is why they're kind of shiny and cheaper looking. But you know, if you just want to have a few little pins, like you know, to put in a bag or something like that, or to, I guess, fill out a board, you couldn't really go wrong. And then next here, as if I didn't have enough dogs in my life, I have these two plushes. So these are two of the first plushes that I ever got from the Disney store in Dublin. So poor lady, she's a bit worse for wear. <laughs> I've had her, I got her about, I want to say 10 years ago now in the Disney store in Dublin. And I made a ginormous mistake. I washed her and I think I did it too high. And this is about five years ago. So don't, don't come at me now. Come at, you know, that was back then. But I washed her and I kind of messed her up a little bit, but I still love her. And, you know, I never buy any of these things really to sell them on. The odd thing here and there I might, but not with my plushes. So I absolutely love her. And I know she's a bit worse for wear, but so am I. And aren't we all in this, in this day and age? Then we have her man here. We have Tramp and I swear, if my three boys, Ozzy, Stitch and Flynn were combined, you would get Tramp and Kevin's family dog, Baxter. Baxter actually looks so much like Tramp, it is adorable. But look at this plush. I think it is just one of the most adorable plushes. I love his like flopsy ears. Look how cute. And then his gorgeous red collar and his beautiful snoot, his beautiful, lovely snoot. And then his brown eyes as well. So he's just one of my all time, he's probably like top three yeah, top three favorite plushes for me. And I've had him about, I wanna say maybe six or seven years. So that's my little tramp plush. Then next year I have another thing that I got from Shop Disney for the 65th anniversary of Lady and the Tramp. And it is this gorgeous cushion. So I got this cushion in May, I wanna say, maybe May, June. And I got it for a really good price on Shop Disney. And again, it's Tony's restaurant on the top absolutely perfect then the gorgeous image of them smiling at each other i love that all these things are them like you know so romantic the way they're like making little faces at each other and stuff and smiling it's just really really beautiful so this is the pillow or cushion and then on the back i actually do love the back more so than anything because it has jacques and trusty as well and i believe it has some of the puppies yes and it has like scamp and stuff see really really sweet and cute and jock again just looking just looking unhappy but it's just absolutely adorable i love this cushion so much so that is that and the third thing that i have here that is from the shop disney 65th anniversary things is this stunning mug so this is another bella note mug this is one of my favorite mugs that i have I was using it to have coffee in. I used it maybe two or three times. And then I, and this is when I got it in the summer and I thought, no, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna scuff it up. I don't wanna be using it with hot water all the time. I'll just keep it. I have enough mugs for my coffee. So I'm just keeping this as a collectible because of the fact that it is a special anniversary mug and it's so, so beautiful. So it has the Bella Note scene again there, but my favorite thing about this mug is the like blue coloring and the gold handle. I think it's just really gorgeous. And then the inside is that blue coloring, but then it also has in gold, which I'm not sure if you can see too well, but it has in gold 65th anniversary. So just absolutely gorgeous. And again, a really nice collectible. So that was just my little lady in the tramp collection video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I have in my collection. Let me know what type of things you have in yours and if I need to get a hold of them for myself. And I hope that you're having a happy new year and a safe new year. And thank you so much for watching.